What's up guys? We're here at Urban Sprout where I'm going to show you guys how to upplant, transplant pretty fast. A couple little hacks that I do. I try to do it with one hand. But uh, thanks for watching always. Appreciate your love and support. And uh, here we go. So, got our trays, plants to start from seed, put them in a low tunnel like this, uh, or in my house like you've seen. It's mostly where I start them if I want to start early. And uh, put them in a little tunnel like this as well. I also have put these types of tunnels inside that tunnel to make a sub tunnel, if you see in my last couple of videos. And so like the lemongrass you saw in my house in the previous videos, a um, bunch of other plant starts up and down the shelves and yeah I've got a heater don't recommend that like that electric heater I unplug it when I'm watering of course for safety and uh, yeah here we go so seed start tray they're nice and healthy past the cotyledon stage hopefully on the second uh, growth right there uh, after the second leaf First leaf, I mean the first true leaf, which is these. Um, the cotyledon is this, and uh, yeah, it should uh, kind of take over the bottom of the tray. Have a nice sturdy root ball, and get you some good soil, uh, potting mix that drains well, um, compost. Sometimes uh, it has a tendency to clump and not. So here's a little bit of compost left. It doesn't, you can see it's really tight. It's really uh, fine. It doesn't drain well. You kind of want to add this type of compost or compost that you're making into your, direct into your beds. Or you sift it and add it with some material like a little bit of wood chips. This has pine wood chips in it. And it helps it drain. Because if you don't have drainage, then the plant root won't actually get the water won't make a, the water just run off the top and I like to get a handful let's go back to this and I'll place them on the tray or really when I have two hands to do it I uh, keep them all in this hand and I go and I just one hand in poke it like that and then my right hand really just closes it like that so I can do it simply like this this Thing in one motion. It's always better to be efficient while farming. And I want to make the hole deep, try to get it past these leaves. Uh, the tomato plant is a, it likes to eat its own composted material. Uh, get it in there deep because all of these little root hairs that are on here, along up and down, creates roots. And sometimes I'll take the cotyledon and just break it so I can stuff it down in there nicely. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the basics of that and I keep it warm. Uh, this time of year we're still getting into the 30s. Uh, I don't want to stunt the growth of these too much so I keep them nice and warm. Uh, I'll separate these two a little bit later and stuff it down. You can also take the cotyledon off. Uh, it gives more, promotes more apical growth like that and once I pot them up I'll label it and I'll put it inside one of these structures and keep it watered uh, this type of plant you don't can't really overwater, but uh, some herbs and things you can overwater, like lavender uh, they like a Mediterranean type type of climate where it's uh, dry for long periods of time so it has enough time for the root to dry out and yeah and like this oregano so that's about it guys hope you enjoyed the video appreciate you crew's here how to get her done one love hit the subscribe button bell for notifications hope you like the video peace